This is for producers fun sample, an extremely fun concept that initially crafted by photographer Jessica Kobesi and later refined into a musical masterpiece by the creative genius Andrew Huang. And here in this channel, we take this exciting concept and give it a house and techno twist. Today's episode is brought to you by Absolute Vodka and I'm really grateful because they helped me to cover the cost for all the awesome producers joining us today. When they reach out to me about their concept Born to Mix, I think I get it a bit mixed up. They probably meant this, but I was sure that they meant this. So I team up with three fantastic producers who are experts at producing and mixing sounds. Joining me in today's episode are Bring the Drum Rolls, Sailor and I, Mole and Uling. And our sample for today comes straight from the Absolute Kitchen. I had the chance to collaborate with them on their YouTube channel and brought along a recorder. What if I record all the sounds that you make while you are making your drink yeah. and make a, I don't know, a jingle and music of thing? I didn't know that was possible. Let's get into it. Absolute Vanilla. This is my kick drum, you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna sign it to you. So grab your snacks and get comfortable because you are up for a musical treat. Here we go. It's a highly um, textured sample. Nothing really stands out except for the uh, abundance of elements that could be used for drums which is exactly what I did. So this part that I'm gonna play now is the core of the song. It's very rough. <laughs> so I added some filters, OTT compression, stereo shaper, pro cube, some fruity reverb, <laughs> some more reverb and echo. This is how we go. This is the intro part. So I'm gonna play it together with everything else. Apart from that, I found some cool shakers. They go like this. Just some reverb and filters. I also had some one shots that I cut out. I used them for transition between the main chorus or drop. Yeah, I found this vocal uh, phrase from the bartender. Everything. Yeah. Yeah, I basically time stretched the phrase and used it before the chorus. Everything. And yeah, that's about it. Cool drum hits, like going around my head. Must be sample. Nice atmosphere. Nice metallic. Nice arps building up. Soundscape. Ooh. Nice chords. Nice work with the sample. A little time journey, 20 years back in time. Very nice chord progression. Really soft atmosphere. It's like riding a Volkswagen through Germany. I can feel the build up. We are going now. With the claps. This could be a nice vocal track. Nice vibe. It is like we are warming up on the dance floor and soon we will be dancing. Very Oling. <laughs> I'm trying to think where the sap was. Nice, nice. Beautiful. Amazing percussions as always. It's almost like breakbeat without the breakbeat. Break drums really works beautiful on this one. Yeah. Feels like you're floating somewhere. 
I really like these kind of metallic soundscapes. Art and drums are really completing each other. My dreamy, melancholic, beautiful journey. Comes to fruition. These are really carry the track really nicely to get into the drums. It still feels a bit Scandinavian. And we are zoning out. Yeah, beautiful track. And very nice work with the sample. And with those all ambient hits. I guess all these are samples. We are walking away, I guess. Nice. Oh. Elegant, beautiful soundscape. Really cool, ambient, a little of trippiness, but I still wanted to dance to it exactly when the drums hit. I wanted to do an ambient track. I've been listening a lot to a producer called Rival Consoles. That was my inspiration for this track. Since the sample wasn't that melodic, I chose to use it more as FX. Here's one of the samples. It sounds very dry, but with some reverb. I also used a bit of the talking voices. It felt a bit more alive. And <laughs> a lot of effects on that. Another vocal from the sample. <laughs> I thought the laughter made a very cool effects. <laughs> Here is the effects groove. Here's just some dark samples that I've been cutting. I wanted to do a track with not that many elements, but I see there is a lot of elements, <laughs> but not that many melodic elements. The lead is just a ambibella from Contact. It has a lot of annoying frequencies that I've been trying to avoid. <laughs> the bass. The lead melodies are very like glittery and nice. I wanted something that you can feel in your chest. Pads. This crystallizer is one of the best. So this is without the crystallizer. And this is with. I like that one very much. Yeah, I hope this gave you a wider picture of how I worked. That's it. <laughs> Really beautiful ambience. Atmospheric, nice. Nice pads. Really cool. It is really ethereal. Cool percussion. I recognize the sample. I think I used the same. Those white splashes are nice. Nice build up, beautiful piano. Oh, really beautiful piano. Or plex. Let's see if there's gonna be any drums. It could be an ambient version. It is so dreamy, so beautiful. Curious where this leads. Deep bass. But this is a nice build up. Okay, so I'm guessing no drums. <laughs> mm, nice. All these ambient hits, I guess, coming from the sample, they really enhance the depth of the track. Mm, nice. The beautiful melodic arms. It's a cool vibe. I like this sports car scent. Mm -hmm. 
really gorgeous. Nice percussion. I can really imagine this listening to the sunrise in a club or like an outside festival. Angel like build up in the background. It's a beautiful melody. That's what this eight is uh, electric piano DX7 style. Creates a nice, a nice mood. These plugs are so so beautiful. I love the chorus as well. Nice. Cool. Nice. It was like a dream, like soft. And you just journey through it. Really, really beautiful work. If you're enjoying the video up to now, please consider like and subscribe. It really helps a ton. Hi everyone, I'm Sailor and I for four producers, one sample. First sound I used, someone is saying stereo, which I liked. I didn't even pitch it, I just warped it and looped it so it sounds like this. Stereo, 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 stereo. Second one, something I turned into a bell, I think it was knife to a plate or something. I had a degrader and I used a reverb from Clev Grand. Did two of them on each side. I made like a shaker. We also have this vocals chopped up. I have a clap, some kind of kitchen sound. I just pitched it up one cent and then with the effects, the build up, some kind of vocal sound. And this O effect. Also from the sample package. I used two kicks from my Lindro machine. Just an EQ. But what I used the most, a Minimoog. We have this arpeggio line. Just with a equalizer and a, a plate reverb. I did a long recording so I could like play around with the filters. And then I just loop some different parts of that recording. Much more filtered and with a sidechain compressor on it. And then we have a bass. We have a hit bass hook. And then we have the pad through my KM60 mixer and it was distorting, I didn't hear it, but made sound into this gritty 80s kind of world. So basically I used some percussive elements from the samples. I created the melodic part mostly from the Minimo and also from the Prophet 5. There we go. Hope you like it. Strong drums. I presume this is also from the sample. I like the intro. Nice arms. It's like right and left. Nice driving bass. Nice. Really nice progression. Like the arpeggio. And how he's working with the kick and the clap, like... Here again, the drums and the arp works really nicely together. Oh, big bass. Or the big lead. Nice. Sound. I like these percussions. Mm -hmm. 
those vocal transitions really adds up. Really beautiful. Nice pads. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed the drum works on this one, to be honest. Oh, that was really beautiful in the end. Too short. <laughs> like those drums really carried the track with the arps and the bass was just a cherry on top. That's cool. Well done. So the moment I heard the sample, I could really hear these aggressive drums. I actually created a couple of kicks, but I'm super picky with the kicks. So I in then decided to go with my own sample from my Sumut kick sample packs. But immediately I wanted to have a tom sounds to complement this. I found this really cool hit. Turn it down, add of effects. Working nicely, but I need a call for this. So found this origin sound. Do, 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 right? And then I wanted to have a snare, so tum tum pa. I first found this transient layer, a bit of verb on it, and then I found this noise here so that it will be the noise layer of the snare. Add of clipping and extra distortion and EQ. Really, really cool snare. Now we need hats so that we can feel the groove. Zooming into the sample, finding that noise area, and adding a little flow to the beginning so it really sounds like a hat sound. Right? And with EQing, this was cool, but I wanted the groove with this one. So I come up with this noise layer with a bit weirdness in it. Here we have AG, I think, talking. Absolutely. She's saying absolute. Distorted a lot and just high past it. Now we have this. However, at this point, I need something warm to give me the sound bed of the track. This time, I took the sample and put it into the pigments. It turns into this micro sample, basically a wavetable. Very authentic sound. And then did the exactly the same thing. Turn one octave up. I was playing back and forth with the AG's vocals and come up with these vocal pads. I needed another layer on top of that. Another part this time, Together they turn into this. I continue to find cool phrases to use as a lead vocal. So I can start. So I can start and here. Start around, start around, 45. I rooted into the vocoder V and now we have this. Very beefy, very cool vocals. Really, really cool ambience. At this point, I was like using the sample over and over again. I decided, okay, let's be a bit relaxed now and find this lead sound coming from my Hive 2 preset pack. And then I made, I think, another one here for the drop from my Pigments Top 60 preset pack. At this point, I had everything I needed, and here is the result. It is wild. I like the arpeggio. Let's see if I can spot the sample. Oh, there. Feels a bit cocky. I like that. Cool use of the vocal sample. Nice vocals. A bit trancy. I like it. Down. Mm. Oh, beautiful. Nice. Nice atmosphere. Very nice. I'm guessing the vocal stab is also from the uh, sample. Amazing sounds. Very cool. I like it. Beautiful villa. Wow. <laughs> Here comes 
the robots. Like I said, very cocky. <laughs> mm, cool textures. Is this AI music made from the director of Robocop? Yeah. I like this, nice. I really like the dynamic of the song. This soft element and then it comes to this hard bass. Really nice. Nice hook. Great one. Awesome. That was cool. Good job. Amazing.